So, the new Apple iPhone X, the most powerful iPhone in Apple's arsenal. But the question we've all been asking ourselves is, what's the iPhone X like for vlogging? Now, if you're like me and you're pretty much a diehard iPhone fan, you will absolutely love this phone. The bezel-less display is absolutely awesome. But the real question for people like ourselves, if you're like me and you vlog, is what are the cameras like and can I replace my vlogging camera with the iPhone X? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna show you what the iPhone X is like for vlogging. Let's aim for 300 likes on this video. So let's try and smash that in this video, guys. And if you're watching this now, you either one, have an Apple iPhone X yourself, two, are thinking about buying the Apple iPhone X, or three, you, you, you just subscribe to me and click to the thumbnail that cropped up. The new Apple iPhone X has a pretty immense camera, both on the back and on the front now, which allows you to take portrait photos both front and back now, which is a very nice addition. But more importantly for vlogging and for vloggers like myself, the things that we really look for are things such as time lapses, shallow depth of field, what's the camera quality like, can it record good slow-mos, etc. And I'm gonna show you all of those in this video. The Apple iPhone X camera itself is a very usable camera. Someone once told me that the best camera you will ever have is the camera that you carry on yourself all the time. Which basically means that you can go around having a little walk around wherever it is you are and you see something and you think, do you know what, that looks awesome, whether I wanna take a photo of it or actually I wanna film that as part of my vlog. Well, guess what? If you've got an iPhone X in your back pocket, you're definitely gonna be able to do that. And the camera quality is ridiculous. The rear camera on the iPhone X allows you to shoot in 1080p at 60 frames per second, but also it allows you to shoot in 4K at 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and even 60 frames per second. Now that means Means that you are going to pretty much destroy your storage if you go around recording hour vlogs on your iPhone um, at 60 frames per second in 4K. But it does make for some incredibly smooth footage. The front camera also enables you to record in 1080p. It doesn't allow you to record in 4K though. However, 1080p is it's, it's absolutely fine for vlogging. Let's look at time-lapse. Time-lapse is one of those things that is an essential when you are vlogging. It's effectively a transition from one point to the other and it does so in a smooth motion. A lot of people do it through uh, basically fast-forwarding time. Now the iPhone X allows you to do that as the time-lapse feature is pretty awesome and I've started to use it all the time. My previous vlogging camera didn't enable me to have the time-lapse feature which was a bit of a pain so I ended up having to use the time-lapse feature on my iPhone 7 to counteract the fact that my camera didn't have time-lapse. But on the iPhone X, you've got it all, and the time-lapse feature is awesome. Then we move on to slow-mo, and the awesome thing with the Apple iPhone X is that you can now record slow-mo at 240 frames per second. 240 frames per second is absolutely ridiculous, and it allows you to really capture that slow-motion detail if you've got something that you wanna show off, or even if you just wanna see stuff in really slow motion, because there's something appealing and, and pleasing to the eye, aesthetically pleasing even, about things shown in slow motion. So I'm currently recording this video right Right now on the iPhone X, I'm using the front facing camera at the moment. As you can see, I'm in a pretty low light situation at the moment and the camera's coping relatively well. But if you're a vlogger, what's the one thing that you're always gonna do is you're gonna probably be out in public, you're gonna be moving around. So you want things such as image stabilization. And that's where you start to run into problems with the iPhone X. Now the front camera, whilst it allows you to record in 1080p, doesn't have image stabilization. So what you'll find when you're doing a bit of a walk around and you're using the front facing camera because you don't really know what is behind you when you want to frame everything, well actually you might end up with a bit of a juddery shot. And when there's no stabilization, you end up with shots like this, quite shaky. So you have to be really, really steady when using the front camera. The back camera, on the other hand, has got the image stabilization built in, which means it makes for a much more steady shot. But there are things you need to be careful with. Because I don't have a flip up screen, you don't really know what it is you're filming. So it takes a bit of practice to kind of mentally envisage what it is you're filming. And there's a risk that sometimes you will cut off your head or you'll miss half the stuff you wanna film if you are vlogging on the rear facing camera only. So that is probably one of the biggest drawdowns on the iPhone, particularly recording in 4K, because the rear camera is the only one that allows you to do so. Without doubt, when you get good light, the iPhone camera is spectacular. It's absolutely unbelievable. I mean, the colors are great. The autofocus is great. Yes, you don't have the image stabilization on the front camera, but with a bit of practice, you'll start to be able to vision as to what the shot looks like, and you're not actually gonna even need to see what you're recording. And actually, for vloggers, that's better, because that way you're not just looking up at the screen talking to yourself, you're talking to your audience. And then we start talking about things such as depth of field or 
Boca. Um, and as you can see, using the front facing camera, I don't really have that much depth of field behind me. Everything behind me is still relatively sharp, although me being the focal point is still the most sharp part of the image. However, when you're out and about and you're using the rear camera, you can still get some pretty good depth of field as shown in these images. The capability of the telescopic cameras on the back allows you to get that shallow depth of field that a lot of vloggers desire. What I found when you're using the rear camera and you're pointing it to your face effectively as the subject, the iPhone does a pretty good job of tracking your face and blurring the background ever so slightly. You'll never get that kind of bokeh or shallow depth of field that you get with a DSLR camera, but you're not gonna be able to fit a DSLR camera in your back pocket. Then we get to what I think is the ultimate drawdown or the the, the one thing that really, really makes the iPhone X or any Apple product or any smartphone even a challenge for vlogging, and that's the sound. Sound is always an issue and I always have to play around with the sound in post-production. I find that the, the internal mic sometimes just doesn't cut it. And in post-production, what I tend to have to always do is up the volume in iMovie or whatever your editor is because that's probably the biggest downfall of the iPhone is the sound. Now what you'll find is with the iPhone is right now I'm using the front facing camera so it's using the microphone it would normally use to deal with making phone calls but if I was to use the rear facing camera what you'll find is that there's a microphone on the rear of the iPhone which will pick up sound if you're using the rear facing camera which is absolutely great but what if you are holding the camera portrait mode recording what's in front of you and trying to do a commentary that's where you start to run into issues and that's where the sound really really lets you down the other must-have tool for the apple iphone x or any apple or smartphone products if you're going to use them for vlogging is you need a tripod and you need a good tripod this one here is the manfrotto tripod it has a swivel ball on the top which can be turned around just like this it's uh, very very flexible very handy and it's, it's, I, I live and breathe with this thing. It's absolutely insane. I'll leave a link in the description if this is something you wanna get. Definitely worthwhile. And so guys, to pretty much answer the question, which is what is the new Apple iPhone X like for vlogging? Well, in my opinion, it's pretty awesome and it's gonna pretty much be my go-to camera going into 2018. Guys, my name has been Steph. You guys have been awesome. Hit the subscribe button below, make me happy, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.